Welcome, Nathalie Kelly. Welcome to the program. How are you? Thank you very much for inviting me. It's nice to be here. Uh, Ambassador, the first ever Swedish style exhibition has been organized here in New Zealand. How does it showcase Sweden to New Zealanders? Well, we have uh, three wonderful exhibitions here. Uh, one is called Ten Visions of Sweden, and it is uh, uh, showing the soul of a nation through the dresses, through the way people dress. Then we have uh, one exhibition about uh, Swedish innovations, everything from the zipper to uh, uh, automatic screwdrivers and so on. And then we have another exhibition with Swedish artists and handicrafts uh, from Sweden, uh, many of these Swedes living in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a lot of other ingredients in this week, of course, with music, symposia, and dinner, Swedish food, and so on. Uh, Ambassador Karen, what differentiates Sweden from the rest of its European neighbors? Well, uh, we uh, tend to think that because Sweden is located in the northern Europe, northern part of Europe, and New Zealand is located very down south, uh, we are very uh, separated, but also similar in many ways. We love nature in Sweden, you do that in New Zealand too. We are very sporty people, health-oriented, and like uh, to have a clean environment and so on. I was touching on from your European... Uh, I understand. Well, from a, we are rather similar with other European nations. But, uh, of course, every country has its uh, particularities, yes. So, what, what is that uniqueness that separates Sweden? Well, I think uh, that uh, we, we uh, like to think about ourselves like being caring, like uh, caring for human rights and caring for each other. And also, I think we are maybe a bit influenced by the dark winter nights and so on. So, we like to have a very cozy indoors atmosphere. I made parties like some communities getting together, okay. some individuals, yeah. and then, you know, they are some sort of organizing climate parties. I'm oh. not talking about political. No, parties. no, but uh, just to get to know each other, you mean? Is, yeah, yeah, okay, on, all right. That sort of line in terms of conserving, sustaining okay. the environment. Okay, yes, I think that is uh, a very uh, active trend in Sweden with conserving uh, nature and energy and so on. We are, for example, building our houses very well with uh, double or triple glasses on the windows and so on. And uh, energy is expensive, so we have to conserve and save where we can. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we want to show the New Zealanders a little maybe how to build and conserve. And you have also very good plans in uh, climate, trying to combat climate change. Mm -hmm. um, could you briefly outline some of the achievements of your country? Like, you know, Sweden is synonymous with founding of the Nobel Prize, yes. the musical group ABBA, yes, yes. Beyond Gold, the tennis sensation of the 80s. I mean, like, could you outline briefly your country's achievements? Well, the Nobel is, of course, something that we are very famous for. And uh, every year on the 10th of December, it's a big party in Stockholm at the town hall when the Nobel Prizes are giving out. And uh, that gives us recognition all over the world. And uh, it, I think it's a very nice celebration of the achievement of science and so on. So uh, we want to continue with that. Then, uh, of course, the sports sensation is uh, something you have in New Zealand also. And we were lucky with Björn Borg and a number of other tennis players. And we are good at ice hockey and uh, other games. So, And then, of course, the Swedish uh, music sensation with ABBA and Roxette and all these groups that have come after. And I know that uh, New Zealanders love ABBA still because I've been here to see the musical Mamma Mia in Auckland and it was very, very popular. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, in terms of culture, trade, and other areas, what is the relationship of your country with New Zealand? Well, uh, we have uh, about uh, 70 Swedish companies here that do trade in uh, New Zealand. All the big companies are here, like Volvo, Scania, Saab, Electrolux, Atlas Copco, 
Ericsson and so on. Uh, but we also have some trade between our two countries in uh, we buy a lot of wine from New Zealand for example and we buy lamb and uh, uh, food stuff and so on but we want to increase that and that's why we have a seminar this week called Export to Sweden where we want to meet young New Zealander entrepreneurs and companies and uh, to discuss with them how they could increase their export to Sweden also. Mm -hmm. Is uh, Sweden looking something in particular from New Zealand? Well, I think we have uh, uh, possibilities in many areas. One of them may be in the IT industry, in the entertainment industry, and uh, also sustainability. And sustainable cities is something that we are very good at in Sweden. And I know that in Auckland that is being discussed now to better the infrastructure and so on. So that's something that we could work together on. Now, from purely agriculture as its base, Sweden has made a name for itself in functional design, social and environmental protection. Could you expand on that? Well, I think uh, that uh, uh, we are a relatively small population. We are 9 million people, twice as many as in New Zealand, and we have a large number of big companies and they need to get new markets so they need to sell outside of Sweden and that is one reason why we have been exporting so early so that is uh, one way of getting new markets and that's why we have companies who have been for 100 years in New Zealand already.